Good morning. This is July 22nd and I am going to do a Juniper Moon trunk show today. Now, what is a trunk show? <laughs> I had a lady that came in the shop one time and and she said, well, I don't know what a trunk show is. And I said, it's when a yarn company sends me a lot of already knitted up samples to show you um, that I can sell you the yarn and the patterns. And she said, oh, so you knitted all these things. And uh, no, <laughs> it's when the elephants come marching in. So Knitting Fever has uh, wondrously sent me all these beautiful samples and I'm gonna show them to you and discuss them a little bit. Their patterns are beautiful. They sell for $6, coated paper, big photos. Um, whoa, <laughs> the downside is if you buy them on Ravelry, excuse me a minute here. Um, excuse me, and you print out the photos, it can take up a lot of ink. So better to buy them from the yarn store. So we're focusing on three yarns today. Uh, Juniper Moon Cumulus, which comes in solids, dappled, and rainbow. Here's the rainbow. And it is a Egyptian Mako cotton. It has a little bit of nylon in it, 6%. It's a number four yarn, and it is really soft. I think it's one of their best-selling yarns. So as far as the rainbow, this pullover sweater was knitted with one of the rainbow colors. So you have the deep blue, kind of the turquoise, the green, the rusty colors going into mustard. Now, a lot of people try to get their sleeves the same. They did a great job here. The back is the same as the front. Almost all their patterns are knitted in pieces. They're not knitted seamless. And I know that's a debate, but it is, um, a lot of people think you get a better fit with um huh they may not have sent me that pattern so if i come to it i'll pull it out and here's another sweater that was done with cumulus rainbow you know i saw this on the knittingfever.com page and i wasn't that impressed but now that i've seen it i love it has the kind of ruffled edge at the sleeves, the top and the bottom, the sides. And this is called Violet Bolero Jacket. And by Ursula O'Connor, comes in small, medium, large, and extra large, and takes four to five skeins, and it's knitted on a size nine. It's very soft. This would clearly be an all year round garment. It's not so bad here, but we had temperatures up to 108 heat index. Definitely not, not good. <laughs> this is done in the solid, the Ciro's cow, lacy, pretty. It looks to me like they seamed it, but you definitely could do a provisional cast on. I like to do mine by just crocheting a chain and then picking up stitches in the back loop and then putting them on my knitting needle by Tabitha Hedrick. Uh, one skein on a nine needle and it's a four row repeat. Very pretty and perfect for somebody that can't do wool or doesn't like wool. I think when the, if this were blocked, you'd really see a big difference in the, in the lace. Most of their patterns, if not all, are $6. Okay, the Abbey Cropped Jacket by Ursula O'Connor. 
there you go. So kind of puffed above the sleeves. There's the back. They do give you a lot of pictures, that's for sure, in the, in the booklets. And this is also all done on a size eight and nine to fit bus 32 to 36 and 38 to 40. And they did it in the grayish uh, colorway. You know, I love to watch knitting podcasts too. And some people, they'll hold up something so beautiful and then already they put it down and I haven't really gotten to see it. And I'm thinking, oh, come on, hold that up again. <laughs> hold that up again and let me see that. If you hear little click, 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 that's little Sandy. She loves to come to the shop. And she is starting to kind of get a grasp of what a yarn shop does. She actually greeted her first person the other day, which was nice. And then also done in the solid is the Zinnia Slipover. This is nice and roomy. And Cumulus is a, a worsted to Aran weight yarn, but it's light and bouncy. This is a pattern by Claudia Worsing. I love her patterns. And it's done with a size nine needle and three, four, or five skeins. It goes from 33 busts all the way up to 49. Sorry about the phone. Okay. Oh, couple more things. I thought I'd come to the shop early before it opened, but. So here is a cute little crop top. I think this is so cute and you could make it longer if you wanted to and it is called I think Clementine if my memory serves me so leaning tree card company now this is done with the dapple yarn a nice big big shawl to wrap yourself up in it's a slip stitch pattern here's the back isn't that gorgeous and i think that's done with the dappled and let me see if they sent me that pattern Nope, I don't think they did. Okay, well, that's okay. Now we'll do the Juniper Moon Harriet, which is an alpaca yarn. And it, it gives you a hazy look because it's alpaca, uh, silk, and merino in a worsted weight. So you get that little hazy look as the um, fibers take up the yarn a little differently. This is one of their cowls, or you could do it straight as a scarf. I don't know if the so-called infinity scarf or cow. Oh, I'm sorry. There's the top, Alcapoco by Tabitha Hedrick. Um, or people are getting back to scarves. I guess we'll find out when, when winter comes. And I think this is a one skein project. Let's see what we got here. Mancora. I guess I was looking for a pattern with a blue scarf. All two skeins. And they did theirs in the color Raisin. It's an eight row repeat. You do do a provisional cast on. And if you've never done that, don't let that, don't let that scare you. Actually makes for a very neat edge when you're finished. Moonshine is so nice and soft. People who buy it just love it and come back and get more. And then, 
Harriet, back to Harriet. I'm sorry, that is Moonshine, and I was doing the Harriet. Okay, so back to the Harriet, H-E-R-R-I-O-T. This is a long, luscious wrap. Wow. With a double cable on both ends and there is a Harriet great, which is the bulky, but this is just the plain Harriet, the breathless wrap. Wow, what a beautiful, beautiful item. I'm guessing that's about six feet long and really the cold weather will be here before you know it. Um, the other night, my husband and I noticed that the sun was setting at 8.15 and last night it was 7.45 already. Five skeins of Harriet done on a five needle and they give you the chart. And oh, who wouldn't love that? Wow. Every year when I get these, oh, it just grieves me to send them back. It's like, oh, I don't, I don't want to part with them. Especially if you try any of them on your, oh, hold on, the mailman. Hi. Thank you. All right, bye-bye. Sorry, I saw that perturbed look on, on his door when he saw that um, the door was locked. It's like, again? So, there's another sweater here, which I might not have the pattern for. There's one that I really love. It came the last time in the trunk show, and uh, it was everybody's favorite favorite everybody's favorite okay I guess I don't have it but it's kind of um I guess a boat neck and a patterned maybe like a double moss uh Claudia Worsing the Meta sweater M-E-T-T-A and again, you can find all these patterns on knittingfever.com. And I know you can also find them on Ravelry. And there are your sleeves. And Harriet, it just knits up light. It is warm. I mean, if, if you have a Harriet item, you're definitely going to be warm. Here is the waffle pullover, which I think is really cute. It's a much deeper blue than it shows. I've noticed blues don't really show their colors. I like the, the ribbed neckband, which is nice and loose. It's doubled over. Here are your sleeves and waffly. There's the pattern. This is by Pamela Wynn, who's one of their uh, regular designers. Bus size is 33 to 53, so a big range there. I could really see this being unisex. Um, it could be feminine, but I can picture, I could picture it on a guy too. Then this is my favorite. It was my favorite last year. Oh, what are we caught on here? It's my favorite. This year, and if you try it on, you just think that you have to own it. So there are the sleeves, the double um, neckband is doubled back, and the collars are just gorgeous. It is soft, smooth, Silky is called Lagertha, I guess. Absolutely gorgeous. Just beautiful. 
Claudia Worsing. And bus size is 33 through 48 and three fourths. Three different colors knit on a six. And it would be nice to see it knitted up in a variety of colors, but I've, I'm in love with those colors. Now to move on to Moonshine, the Anna jacket is definitely one of my favorites. I think it's so pretty. Again, this is Moonshine, which is a worsted uh, blend of silk, merino, and alpaca, which gives you that kind of hazy look. And I like the style of it. Let's see if I can show it. It's heavier than the Harriet, but wow, so nice and warm. Has a garter stitch band. And also down the side and a few buttons. So I think the picture kind of shows it better because you can see what it looks like on. There we go. And then the Julia sweater, which again is very pretty. So again, this is Moonshine. You use three different colors, a little bit of white, and then the, they use a dark green, and then the sandy color and three diamond cables on the front and the back. And I love the striping. And then the cuffs have a little bit of striping too. Just beautiful, gorgeous. So what, what, which is your favorite? What do you like? What would you pick? Um, Right now, the cotton is good because it's hot and it's summer, but it's actually time to knit for the cold months and the cold always comes pretty quickly. So you can reach me at creativeyouyarns at gmail.com. At this time, I do not have an online store. I also invite you to go to knittingfever.com and look at all their luscious yarns and patterns. And I'll see you back soon. I'll do my own podcast in just a little bit. Have a great day and God bless you.